everyone, it's Nick of Street Pass Princeton, and we're back for another episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, this time, I'll be visiting the town that had Luigi's Mansion, because I only made a video about her house, which got 10,000 views, mainly because of Kotaku. Um, if you're wondering what I think about Kotaku, I think they're great in terms of virality, like, if I share something with Go Nintendo, it might get like a few hundred views, but if I share it with Kotaku, I'll at least get maybe 10,000 views, which is great, I like that, but Kotaku isn't always the most accurate, um, I'll give you an example, when they posted the Luigi's Mansion video, they said that the person who made the house was from Princeton, they're actually in the UK. So, it goes how much they just assumed and made an ass out of themselves. Um, so we're gonna get underway, and we're gonna go to uh, Shrunk first, because I really need to get some more emotions. So here we go. Alright, so we're going to Shrunk first. Great. In Shrunk's place. Club lol. Hey Shrunk. Yeah, I brought you a snack. I brought you an orange. What do we have here? An orange, don't mind if I do. That was quite satisfying. Thanks a bunch, let me turn the favor. Good joke. Okay, stand right here. So we're gonna get another joke. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My old teacher's bashfulness joke is sure to cure you what ails. But, I'm worried I won't be able to pull it off as well as he did. In fact, I might not make any sense of it at all. Come to think of it, guess I'll try anyway. Prepare to see emotion in motion. You shall see very embarrassment appear in the very air. I was talking to my youngest daughter the other day, and then... She said that I... She thought I was 110 years old, and then... I got very embarrassed. I mean, 110. <laughs> Do I really look that young to you? I'm embarrassed to even use that joke. <laughs> yep. Bashfulness joke, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, so now we're gonna get going to... Um, updating my dream address. Um, by the way, um, if you guys, I saw in the last video, I saw comments about, um, dreams. I'll get to them eventually, probably after this one, I'll, I'll visit one of those two, and the next one the next day. But it's like, I have lots of work and such that I have to do, so it's not easy. Yes, I would like to provide, uh, Pallet Town. Uh, yes, I would like to make them free. So, saving do not touch. Connecting to the internet. Thank you for waiting. Preparations complete. Alright, so jumping on the couch. Connecting to the internet. Here we go. Alright, so we're gonna get up. Great. 40 people. Thank you guys for making it 40. Alright, and now we're gonna visit Ray Broom's place. I technically visited it before through the Luigi's Mansion video, but I'm gonna show you a more in-depth um, video of her town. So that way you guys can see, like, exactly what's going on in her town. It's really cool. I loved her town a lot. Um, I'm gonna input the dream address. Yes, I will share it with you. It's, um, 7300 9805 Black Cat. That was the name of the town that I had visited. So... Okay, so let's get in bed. And she'll turn down the lights, like usual. I'm gonna turn down the lights. One. Sheep. Two. Sheep. 
three. And looks like we'll be making our way into Ray Broom's town. Here we go. All right. So, I am awakening in Ray Broom's Black Cat Town. And this is the town with, um, with Luigi's Mansion. Yes, Black Cat. So, we're here. A cyan balloon and a bubble wand. I'll, uh, no. Pull some weeds for you. Well, that won't matter because it's a dream. Nice house, I have to say. Let's go inside it. So we're going inside the house. It's some weird looking man eater, Annalisa. Nice. Thanks, Annalisa. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm going to be going up. So I'm gonna go up here. 7300 9805. Remember that if you want to go to Black Hat. So Kirby 20th anniversary. It's pretty cool. So I like her town a lot. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is like Sailor Moon looking character. Oh, Yokiko. I know I pronounced her name wrong several times, but I was a little sick. So, forgive me, guys. Yukiko. 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 Yeah. Alright, I forgot. This is a very simple house. Do we find out what's playing? Oh, it's the TV. I didn't know if there was actually, like, music on the recorder. Okay, so we're gonna get out of uh, Yo Yokiko's house, I guess. Is this Yokiko's house? Do we know? No. Um, and we're gonna go to the right here, because there's a really nice house here. Let's go inside. Alright, so this is another house of Black Cat. It's supposed to be similar to um, Ray Broom's. She's the girl that made this town. It's Ray Broom's, like, house, apparently. Pretty big house, if you ask me. There's like an Easter egg set here. I've seen that before. I visited a town before, so I've been here. That's supposed to be, I think, a piggy bank. So, now we're going to the right room. The room on the right, I guess. And a very quaint TS picture. Let's see what's on the back of it. T is a cup of life, I guess. And that's the, uh, harp, and you got the piggy bank. It's cool that there's a golden one, I guess. So, go to the left room. Oh, that's Tangy and someone else. How do you get so many piggy banks? Like, I have to wonder. Cats. She really likes cats, by the way. If you haven't noticed, like, all of her pictures are, like, cats, cats, and more cats. So she loves, loves, loves cats. Um, let's go to the ba- Oh, no, there's no basement here. It's, that's Luigi's Mansion. That's the basement. They have a basement in Luigi's Mansion in this town. So, anyway, this is her top room. I don't know how she gets to her bed, because it looks like the bed is, like, blocked off. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put that away and get out of this house. Alright, so, getting out of here. Alright, so, now that we're out of that house, is this supposed to be, I'm taking a wild guess, is it, Ray? Come to my town. Let me say that again so I can look at you better. Okay, good. Alright, so that's Ray Broom. And this is the Luigi's Mansion. Richard, thanks. You might remember, I'm gonna dress up in just two seconds. Alright, here we go. Alright, 
it. So, as you see, we're dressed up as Luigi, because this was the town that I went to for Luigi's Mansion. And now we're going to go back inside Luigi's Mansion again. And if you remember correctly, the first room is like the hallway from the second game, which is pretty cool. The back room is actually taken from the first game. It's the, the secret altar room where um, uh, Mario is basically stuck in with the big boo. That's pretty much um, from the first game. So now we're going to go to the, the room on the right. And this is also from the first game. It's based off the cemetery. So as you'll see, there's lots of gravestones and there's some fire. Cool, huh? Flowers, too. Very well done, if you ask me. Um, so we're going to leave that room. And we're going to go to the room on the left, which is, I guess, just a regular old bedroom. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me. So you have the rocking chair on here. You have um, a sofa there. The pictures of the ghosts, a camera, I guess, that's supposed to be in the room, the fireplace. That's pretty cool. I always enjoyed um, this town a lot, and I'm glad that Kotaku shared it. Um, like I said, Kotaku's not perfect. You know, they make mistakes with their accuracy. But on the bright side of Kotaku, they get a lot of views on their posts, and I wish I could say that on a lot of other video sharing sites. I mean, Go Nintendo is great, but they don't just get, they get very few views, which is terrible. So, anyway, and this is the piano with the boo. This is supposed to be like the library from the second game. So we're going to go upstairs to the second floor room, which is the dollhouse room. It's pretty cool, but creepy at the same time. Mainly because the doll is the same doll from Ica Village. You have cars. You have a vacuum. I guess that's Luigi's vacuum. Uh, tiger. Doll. I don't know what that... I think it's supposed to be a window. Loaded with old memories. Alright, so let's leave here. We're gonna get out of this house. And I'm gonna go to the last house, which is across the river. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so... Luigi's Mansion. Picture pose. Okay, so... I'm gonna get underway here. To the last house. Which is this one right here. Alright, so we're in the last house of her town. Last of her player-created houses. It's pretty simple. Thanks. Someone named June, and this Easter Bunny thing. Zipper's picture, what does it say on the back? Oh, hippity hoppity, oh, I, I skipped it. Hippity hoppity, wish, wash, whoa. Interesting. Oh, this is like the little game crane thing. Do I win? No, it drops it off and I lose. It always does that. That's cool, though. There's a piece of cake, I guess, and some bonsai, which is cool. Candy and such. So let's get out of here. Always a fun town to visit, if you ask me. Alright, so... I gotta get going to work soon. Oh, Stonehenge. I gotta get going to work very soon. I like that she puts uh, pictures. She puts little, like, uh... Like, what do you call them? I guess uh, the just the pattern down for who's outside. That's Allie's house. I believe most of her villagers are supposed to be crocodiles. Dell's house. And the house behind is uh, whose house? Molly's house. I don't know who that is. I think she's aiming to have mainly crocodiles as her. Uh, I think this is Alfonso's, yeah. He wears the Mario, um, shirt. Love that. Uh, there's a lighthouse, and then this is Tia's house. So, just go back up here. Love the totem pole. 
Okay. It's, uh, Ray again. What is this black sphere thing? Here's Wendell. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this town. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna check out the drawings. Okay, what drawing do I want? Probably none of them, because I can't really take any of them. No offense, but I love them all, but I really can't take any of them, because my town is all Pokemon themed. Okay, anyway, we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna get going, so... That was fun. Alright, so let's get out of here. And, uh, I had a fun time in this town. Hope you guys will take it a visit. Um, you probably have already if you've seen the, uh, Luigi's Mansion video. Wake me up! Alright, so let's close our eyes. And now we are waking up back in the town of Pallet. And she'll ask me how I felt. I felt great. I did. I slept great. I will. I'll definitely go back there probably once in a blue moon. Or on a dark moon, I guess. Hint, hint. You know, Luigi's dark moon. Anyway, um, gonna be leaving. Alright, so, uh, there's the TNT, Mabel and Sable shop. I should really upgrade this Super TNT, but I'm not gonna do that for a while. I'll get TIY. I wanna get TNT's Emporium, but it's gonna take some time. Um, okay, so, what do I do now? Oh, I gotta leave. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna be ending this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, you know what I'm gonna say. Like this video, leave a comment below, and do not forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Our next event actually is gonna be Bravely Default on the 16th, and we're gonna have some special goodies to give away, so it's gonna be very exciting. Um, we also have a Pokemon event on the 22nd of February, which I'll also share with you guys. So anyway, guy, guys, you know the drill. Like the video, leave a comment below, follow us on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter. Next events will be in the description below. I want to thank all of you so much for watching, and this is Nick of Street Pass Princeton signing out. See you guys later. Bye.